welcome back to frappe school this is the fifth chapter in our sales management course and today we will be discussing drop shipping by the end of this chapter you will understand what is drop shipping and its benefits how to configure drop shipping in erp next let's take a different scenario here where star electronics uses a supply chain management technique called as drop shipping where the inventory of the products that are sold need not be stocked our company will only transfer the customer's order details to the relevant supplier who will then process the order this supplier can be a manufacturer or another retailer who will directly ship the ordered items to the customer well recently there has been a delay in the deliverance of the orders and star electronics has no way they can track the same however erp next allows you to manage drop shipping items directly to your customers by placing an order with the supplier drop shipping will also allow star electronics to focus more on the marketing and selling part of the business and let the other parties handle warehousing and transportation processes let's see how this is done in erp next the first thing we will have to do is set up the item master to do this we will first navigate to the item list from home to the selling module and then go to item under the items and prices section here we can see a list of all the items created in the system suppose we want to set up the item macbook pro laptop for drop shipping we can select it if we want some or all orders of the laptop to be delivered to the customer directly by the supplier then we can scroll down to the supplier detail section here and click on the delivered by supplier checkbox once we have set it up in the item master we need to create a sales order for the items the customer has ordered we can navigate to the sales order list by navigating in the selling module and going to sales order under the selling section now let's add macbook pro as the item ordered by the customer since we have configured this item to be sent to the customer directly by the supplier once added to the items table we can configure drop shipping details here in the drop ship section the supplier delivers to customer checkbox will be selected and we can select the supplier that is delivering this item to the customer we can also add a default supplier in the item master so that it is fetched automatically once done we can save these details and submit the sales order the status of this sales order will show as to deliver and bill we can create a purchase order by clicking on create and then on purchase order we will need to select the supplier and add a date by which these items are needed next we can add customer contact details in the drop ship section then we can move on to the items table where we can see the item to be delivered directly fetched from the sales order we created we can check if the warehouse and reference section the to be delivered to customer checkbox is selected this ensures the item will be delivered straight to the customer we can add details like rate required by date etc we can now save and submit this once this order is delivered to the customer we can update the status by clicking on status and then on delivered which will change the status of this purchase order to delivered there is no need to create a purchase receipt as the material is delivered to the customer directly next we can create a purchase invoice for this purchase order the details of this purchase invoice 
will reflect in the accounting ledger. We can see these changes by going to the View tab at the top and clicking on Accounting Ledger. We can observe the cost of goods sold ledger is debited instead of the inventory ledger as the inventory has been delivered to the customer directly. Once we change the status of the purchase order to delivered, the status of the sales order is also changed from to deliver and bill to to bill. When we want to create a sales invoice from this sales order, we can use the create tab at the top and create a sales invoice for this order. A sales invoice will be created with items, rates and the total payment amount. We can add other details like payment terms, transport information and other accounting details and save them once we've added all the information. There is no need to create a delivery note. This brings us to the end of the fifth chapter of our sales management course. I hope this helped you understand how drop shipping works and how we can set it up in ERP Next. You can read more about ERP Next on docs.erpnext.com. In the next chapter, we will discuss the sales reports. Thank you.